At our 2023 AGM, a motion on creating a fairer world for young people was put to our members for the vote. It focused on ensuring that young people's views and needs are built into how we make decisions across all parts of our co-op. To do this, co-op was asked to support, educate and empower young people to trade with us and to shape and develop their own cooperative solutions to the challenges and opportunities they face. The motion was carried by members with 98.09% in favour. Hi everyone and thanks to all of our member owners who've joined us for engaging with our co-op. I'm Don Kendall Ward and I'm Group Secretary here at Co-op. I'm also the proud sponsor of our Co-op Young Members Group. Our CYMG, as we more commonly refer to it, is made up of six young people like Yasmin Hewitt, who is here with us now, and our CYMG represents the voices of Co-op members under 25 at the heart of our business. We know how important advocating for young people and giving them a say in their future is to you as our member owners, as you voted overwhelmingly in favour of our motion relating to this very topic at our 2023 AGM. We want to make sure that we're giving you, our member owners, an update on the progress we've made. I'm also joined by one of our board members, Sarah McCarthy Fry, who is elected by you as a member nominated director. Our board recommended our young people motion is very passionate about embedding their views and needs into our democratic and participation processes, as well as providing fairer opportunities for them. Yasmin, I'll come to you first, as I know that our CYMG helped draft the motion. How have we been embedding CYMG into our processes and what else has been happening to deliver our community mission for young people? Co-op continues to champion the voices of young members through the Co-op Young Members Group, CYMG. Um, we'd really like to take the opportunity to thank the National Members Council for suggesting a motion that creates a fairer world for young people, and we've really enjoyed working on it together. Since the AGM, our focus has been on making sure CYMG and our young members are represented in both formal and informal ways across the Co-op. In addition to a former CYMG member being co-opted into Members Council, we now also have a co-op member on every Values and Principles Committee, and this is where we regularly work with council members and senior leaders in real time to influence and shape the plans and strategies on lots of key issues like ethics, sustainability and value that's driven through our membership offer. This year, we'll be working on furthering these connections and building those relationships with senior leaders to enable more young people to get involved and to make a difference. Outside of CYMG, our community team has been really busy working with charity partners to create fairer access to opportunities for young people. Here are some of the highlights that I wanted to share with you of what we've achieved. Firstly, the Peer Action Collective, PAC, has helped us lead on providing youth voice with over 11,000 young people taking positive action to build safer and fairer communities. Several members of the CYMG come from a PAC background. And so this has been really beneficial in helping the different youth networks work together for change. Alongside the co-op's charity, the Co-op Foundation, as well as the I Will Fund, we've launched our Young Game Changers Fund. This partnership puts £4.5 million worth of funding into the hands of young people to change the way youth-led activism, social change and movement building is supported in the UK. I'm really excited to see where this partnership gets to over the coming months in 2024. And then lastly, we have our national charity partner, Bernardo's, which is working with us to raise £5 million for supporting young people with getting their basic needs, so food, help with future opportunities, mental health and wellbeing services. Um, and to date, 740 young people have helped shape the local services in over 20 communities. CYMG, alongside many other youth groups, have participated in fundraisers for the cause. CYMG alone walked one million steps in August. You can find out more about the work that we've done on our Instagram page at Co-op Young Members Group. Fantastic. Thanks for that, Yasmin. Sarah, I know you're really passionate about our campaigns and the changes that we as a cooperative business can deliver on key issues that really matter to our member owners. How have we been helping young people in this space? Young members are helping to shape our campaigning work and our fantastic public affairs and campaign team have been focusing on two key areas which our young people have highlighted as being important to them, social mobility and climate change. All young people deserve an equal start in life 
and the circumstances in which you're born shouldn't dictate where you end up. At Co-op, we've been calling on the government to urgently reform the apprenticeship levy so that more young people can benefit from fairly paid apprenticeships. Now, we wanted to know firsthand how it's affecting young people's lives. So we asked nearly 25,000 young people in primary and secondary schools about fairness of pay. The results of this research was presented by the students themselves in Parliament in July, and it was then cited in a major report from the Policy Exchange. In October, Co-op hosted a fringe meeting jointly with the Social Mobility Foundation at the Labour Party conference to discuss how young people were being discriminated against for coming from a low income or socially deprived background. Now we know that climate justice is important to all our members, but it resonates particularly with younger generations as they will be most affected. Despite this, younger people's views are rarely considered by policymakers. That's why as part of our climate justice campaign, we commissioned research with the Co-op Foundation so that we could understand the attitude of younger generations towards net zero. We consulted with 40 young people in an online community and then over a thousand more carefully selected to be nationally representative. And this led to a report that was presented by some of the young people who participated in the research at both the Labour and Conservative Party conferences. And we're really proud of the way our young people are helping to influence policy in these areas. Thanks so much for sharing that, Sarah. Um, in the board's response to the motion, it touched on academies. Do you have any updates on our work to develop children's understanding of cooperation? Yes, I do. We are proud to now sponsor 33 academies, including primary, secondary, special schools and a sixth form college. At our primary and secondary schools, we've created a careers programme aligned to the skills builder so that students of all ages can develop transferable skills and find out what opportunities are available across all sectors. In our sixth form college, we can offer a high quality work placement programme for business students, combining co-op leadership skills alongside traditional learning. Our academy in Stoke developed the co-op young leaders programme and this has now been rolled out across all our academies. Each academy can adapt it according to their needs and 1,200 students have been trained in leadership and communication skills and have learned skills to boost their confidence. This has enabled them to become community ambassadors, reading partners, playground leaders and event planners for open days. As I said, climate change and sustainability are high on the agenda for our young people. They want to know what they can do to help and we want to give them the knowledge and skills to do that. Co-op hosted two eco-conferences which brought teachers, students and communities together, inspiring everyone to come up with ideas on how to do their bit for the planet. We also want all our academies to get the Eco Schools Award and we are helping them in working towards that. We are supporting the delivery of the Envision programme funded initially through our charity, the Co-op Foundation. Envision involves 10 year eight students from each academy, teaming up with their local community and identifying a social action project. Each team then have to pitch their ideas to a panel and the winning project is then funded so they can make that change in their community. At Co-op Group, we support the Woodcraft Folk, which is a cooperative movement helping children and young people to understand important issues about the world, including the environment and sustainable development. Our academies in West Yorkshire have collaborated with them on the Green Influencers Programme to boost students' well-being and help them develop a greater connection with nature through eco-projects. This is just a flavour of what we're doing to develop understanding of cooperation in young people. It is an ongoing process. Thanks so much, Sarah, for sharing that. That's really helpful. Before we wrap up, I'm just going to pass back to Yasmin. As a co-op colleague, please, can you tell us how co-op is supporting young people who work in our businesses and our support centre? Our Strive Network was set up to listen to, support and empower the co-op colleagues that are aged 16 to 30. It's grown significantly in reach and through colleague sessions and workshops, the network has now developed a strategy with the colleagues that helps bringing in more senior leaders as sponsors to amplify the young voices in our decisions and plans. 
In my experience with CYMG, over the past six months, we've begun to actively collaborate between the different youth groups that Co-op supports. We're starting to work together to elevate each other's projects and amplify the impact that we're making. It's been an incredibly rewarding 2023, um, opportunities to meet other like-minded individuals, and we're really excited for 2024. Thanks so much, Jasmine and Sarah. It's been fantastic hearing from you both on how we're creating a fairer world for younger people. And thank you to all our members for tuning in and being part of our co-op.